Hi guys, it's Shipface here, and this is my updated tour on MSC Virtuosa. As the ship is returning in 2024 and 2025, I thought I could give you guys a more updated tour with more information, as I have been on the ship four times, I've done a lot of it, a lot of the stuff on the ship. I can give you guys advice if you're looking to book or you are going to book. So let's get into the tour. We're starting on deck 19, where we have top 19. This is exclusive for a raw gas. This is a category uh, just below the yacht club. And you get this private sun deck, which is a really, really nice area. You do get access to this as well if you're in the yacht club. So it has this really nice hot tub that overlooks the ship and gives you really good ocean views. Normally there's loads of sunbeds about, so there's lots of seats to go around. Just look at that view. It is really, a really nice area up there. And like I said, it goes all the way back, all the way over here, and then it goes to the water park. So yeah, lots of space. Those are all the sunbeds that are normally out all over the place. Like I said, it comes to the Savannah Water Park, where it has three slides, two races, and a bowl. The bowl is a bit strange with the stairs. It's not like at like Butlins where you like drop into a thing of water, but they probably don't have the space for that. Uh, but they're really good fun and just check the cruise app to see when they're open. Then you have like this kind of splash area for the kids uh, and it is open most of the day. It really does look fun. I haven't personally tried it yet. So it's a really nice big space and there's even a pool over there. Like I said this is a re-updated tour so I'm just giving you guys more information. It is the same tour I filmed a few years ago. But hopefully I'll give you guys more information to really help your trip on MSC Virtuoso. Then we have the ropes course which is included in your cruise and it's really good fun. You have to have shoes that are closed toed and laces are tied up. I've seen people being uh, turned down so make sure you take those on your cruise. Deck 18 is just a, a big massive sun deck again uh, so they have lots of sunbeds going around. I did speed this up. It is quite a big space. And then we have the Sky Lounge, which is the adults only piano lounge. And again, you get that nice big view, big floor to ceiling windows of the ocean. It's a really nice, elegant bar. See there, there is the piano. Now we have the Kids and Teens Club. They're all on the same area on deck 18. MSC do have a partner with Lego, so you do see Lego models about, which is really cool. There's some friends one there. So on your right, you see just down below is the sports court, so you can get a good view of the sports court and what's going on in there. And then this is the kids club. Like I said, they have a partner with Lego. I don't know what kind of activities they do, I, I didn't really look into that, nor have anyone that goes in there. Then moving back right to the back of deck 18, you have the nightclub. This is the teen area of the nightclub, and then just outside we have the attic club, which is the adults. They have it together, which I do think is a bit weird. Uh, other cruisons are very, very separate, but this one is all together. Um, and yeah, this is a place where I would go if you want to see people in, in the sports court. But like I said, it changes to a nightclub at night. I didn't see it as much on MSC Virtuoso my four cruises. But on MSC Grandiosa and Blissma, this was where the nightclub was happening. None of this COVID stuff is there. This is, was filmed on the first, first cruise. So don't worry about it. None of that is there anymore. On deck 16, they have the Horizon Pool, which is the pool right at the back of the ship. Again, this is where loads of sunbeds are and they will be put out. But on this cruise that I filmed, there was only about 400 people. So there was a need for them to put all the sunbeds out. Um, so yeah, this pool doesn't get used as much as the main pool, but it is really nice to see the wake and it is really nice lit up at night. Uh, so it's definitely somewhere to go for a late night stroll at the end of the night after your dinner. And each tier will have more sunbeds. Uh, so yeah, lots, lots and lots and lots of sunbeds around, I have mentioned that already. But just like to alliterate, because this ship does have a lot of people and it can feel kind of busy at some points. Uh, so yeah, it's um, 
they have tried to accommodate as many places to get some beds as they can. Again, we have a hot tub here that hangs over the side of the ship a little bit. And gives you amazing views of the ocean. See what a great view. Then we have the Horizon Bar, so a bar is not too far away. And when it first came out, there was lots of complaints about the bar service, but on my last cruise, I genuinely think they have done a lot better and I'm seeing a lot less complaints so I reckon the bar service on MSC Register has really gone up in the past couple of years. Then on deck 16 we have the sports plex which is where the sports court is and the activities so we have the video game arcades, has lots of different machines. This is where I would give a bit of suggestion if you are planning to go here and hardly ever that ski ball machine is working, it was working on the last cruise but um, I would look into the fun pass. It is £72 on your pre cruise plan, and you get 140 quid on there. So, if you had kids or even people like me who was going to use the F1 simulator and whatnot, I would definitely look into it to see if it would be worth your while. So, then after we go to the arcade, we have the like, amusement area, I would say. So, we have the sports court on the right. Really big area now, and they have really good goals and basketballs, and they flip. Um, each day uh, so one day it's football one day it's basketball really nice really nice sports court compared to other ships I have been on so then this is the 4D cinema so this is £10 a go so if you like I said if you're looking to do stuff like this definitely look into the fun pass I couldn't say that more enough they have a few games and you, you can score and they put on the leaderboard outside this is the, like this VR shooting game, I've never done it, but again it costs money and the bowling costs so much, not so much, it's about £55 for an hour, still quite a lot, uh, but if you have the fun pass then it's, it's more worth it, but you have to book, I think it opens at 10 o'clock to book in for the next day and you have to get there early or be sold out. F1 Simulator is £12 to go, really good, I love it, if you're an F1 fan that's me trying it, I absolutely love it. And if you are with the MSC Loyalty program, your first go on the F1 Simulator is half price, so make sure you ask for that, because they won't just give it to you, you'll have to ask for it. Um, so yeah, I love the F1 Simulator, really good for F1 fans, especially with MSC's partnership with F1 now, uh, hopefully they get like all the maps. And then we have a few more arcade machines, and also the Fun Pass does work for arcade machines that don't give you prizes. So again, like if they want to do basketball, then you don't have to worry, you've prepaid that basically, so... Like I said, I would definitely look into that fun pass for this area if you would want to do this. Then there's a sports bar with no screen to watch sports. Bit weird if you ask me. But the um, yeah, lots of seats for people to sit around while they're playing in the sports court or they're doing any of the activities in the arcade or around that area. Then we have the MSC Gym. Haven't spent a lot of time in here. This is On my four cruises, this is the only time I have any, ever walked in there. Um, so yeah, it looks like they got lots of equipment um, and lots of good quality equipment. Uh, so if you're more into this, then you can see on the screen what there is. Like I said, the, the COVID stuff isn't part. Well, they just still do clean it, but it's just not there anymore, really. Uh, then they have the running track on the outside of the deck. Then they have the indoor pool, which is a really cool area of the ship. Which, um, especially going from Southampton, the weather's not always going to be great. This is such a good area to have on the ship. The seats are comfy, there's a bar in there, hot tubs, pools, and if it, even if it's a hot day, the roof retracts, so you can still have like an outdoor pool as well. Um, and then the menus are all on QR codes. So yeah, this, this is a really good area. And I really like this place, but it does get very, very busy at some points during the day. It's also two levels, so lots and lots of seats. And here's a tropical bar inside that place. And like I said, I'd like to reiterate again, when MSC Virtuals did first come to the UK and they started going up in their capacity, there was lots of complaints about them not having enough staff. But what I saw from my last cruise, which was in October, 
I genuinely think they have done a lot better with the service in the bars, um, in my opinion. Obviously, it's not always going to be great. That's just life. But like I said, it was. I, I haven't seen that there's long waits for queues anymore. So that is a really good job by MSC. And yeah, you have two hot tubs here and two upstairs that hang off the side of the ship. All indoors. So it's a really good area, especially going from UK and being in the northern, northern Europe. It's now moving up to the second level where you have football tables and ping pong. Generally, if you want to play ping pong, you have to be there really early because the tables are taking up all the time, but that's no surprise. There's only two of them for about 4,000 people. The football tables aren't used as much, but ping pong definitely, definitely is. Here is one of the hot tubs that hang over the side of the ship. Really, really cool. And you have like the nice um, wraparound window so you can have those amazing views of the ocean. So like I said, lots of seating to go around. There's a nice picture of the of the, the sunset on our cruise. Now moving to the outside deck, this is where the main pool is outside. Lots of sunbeds, this is where they will space apart, but like I said, none of that's there anymore. But it's a really nice area. We've got a few bars, one at each end of the atmosphere pool. And on one of these counters they serve ice cream, on the other counter they serve food. And this one is just is just a bar. Uh, yeah, the place where they sell food, not sell food, they, where it's complimentary food, they um, just, it's just stuff from the buffet, but it's just quick bites so you can get it by the pool and it's a really good area. And they, they also do pizza there, so that's a really nice place to go and get it. The pool's really large and they have the big screen there that they show movies on, which is really nice at night under the stars. And then this is the second level where two hot tubs are that are really like wrapped around going off the side of the ship. Uh, so yeah, it's a re really nice hot tub there. Lots of space as well. Then we have the Marketplace Buffet. So this is, with MSC, they don't have as many complimentary options around the ship. They have the buffet and the main dining room. That is about it, apart from that like little area by the foods, um, by the pool uh, where they give out food. So this is where you go if you don't want to go to the main dining room. I have seen a really good section of food here. Because it's Italian cruise line, the pasta pizza is really amazing. I can't tell you how much uh, their pizza is really good. They have a wide selection of food. And the buffet, if you walk all the way to the back, you will always find a seat. Um, that, that's what I always do. And normally the food is doubled. Uh, so obviously they have each side is, is, is the same food. And then if you keep going, normally you can find the same food there. So my suggestions would be go all the way to the back of the buffet. And there's even an outside area. So if it's really nice, you can go and... Um, go and eat outside at the back of the ship because not many people walk away to the back so they all see the tables at the front so yeah that would be my suggestion for the marketplace buffet they have a beverage section as well just pretty standard for a cruise ship buffet and really nice floor to ceiling windows of the ocean as well and just outside those windows is the outside area which not, not many cruise ship but um, buffets have um, outside areas on their buffet so yeah definitely take advantage of that if the weather is good enough on your cruise here it is so yeah you get a nice view of the back of the ship and yeah like I said normally people walk all that way so definitely take advantage of this area of the ship now going in the panoramic lifts and these are really good they're both on the sides um, and it gives you views of the ocean going all the way down so as we go down from deck 15 I probably said something about um, the markers there. Ah uh, yeah, so um, 
yeah, going all the way down gives you really, it re these are really nice lifts. Uh, these are only lifts that are like normal lifts where you press the button inside, the rest of them are the um, destination lifts where the buttons are outside. So getting off at deck 6 and going to the front at the theatre, this is where MSC do most of their shows. And with MSC being such a, a variety of languages, they normally are just about 40, half an hour to 45 minutes and then mainly dancing and singing. Um, no like stories, no Broadway shows, so it's just sta standard dance, really good dancing. But yeah, that's what the shows are on MSC. Then we have Galleria Virtuosa, which is like the promenade at the heart of the ship. Where you'll find shops and restaurants on both levels 6 and 7. So as you walk around you see MSC Foundation which is the charity shop. Anything you buy in there goes directly to their foundation. Also when you're on board they will take a pound. Some people get really mad about it, some people don't. They take a pound for the charity. I don't think it's too big of a deal. Then you have the French inspired bar where they have live music and they do little bar snacks which are quite nice. Um, and they also have a restaurant in there, Indonesia. Indonesia? <laughs> I think that's what it's, what it's called. I'll see it when it comes up. But it's a really nice area, and like I said, here they do bar snacks that you have to pay for. Um, and they, they, they like little like buns and st stuff like that. And Indonichi. Uh, this is in a specialty restaurant that you have to pay for. I had I ate there and it, it was okay. People really rave about it, but I didn't think it was as good as people did rave about it. Uh, but yeah, definitely want to check out see if you'd like the menu. It's French with a bit of Vietnamese um, twist to it. Then you're walking past some shops, there was the duty free one where you get some essentials, those are the more high end ones. Then you have John Phillips Crepe and Gelato. Uh, they do lots of different types of crepes, smoothies, gelettos, uh, yeah this again you have to pay extra for, that's what I'm saying there's not as many complimentary areas of other cruise lines. MSC is really just a buffet in the main dining room, but these have a good selection, just check out the prices. Some of them can, can seem alright, some of them um, yeah, seem a bit pricey. Then you have the MSC excursion desk on your right. As we keep moving to the front of the ship, you have another John Philippe chocolate bar. Oh, I, am I going to go that way? I forgot which way I'm going to go. I'm going to go to Ola first. Ah, I already got John Philippe first, I did get it right. Uh, John Philippe, where you can create your own chocolate bar, they have chocolate ships, they're also always building different types of chocolate in models, that is really cool to see. They also do amazing hot chocolates, and they also do alcoholic hot chocolates, so definitely go and check that place out. And then they have Ola Tacos and Cantina. Definitely, this is one of my favourite specialty restaurants, I've gone there every single time. And it's £17.99 for all you can eat and they bring you everything, one of everything on the menu. 100% worth it, would we'll definitely go and book Ola. That, that, was my, that is my um, suggestion. Really nice restaurant, really good Mexican food. If you love Mexican food, go here. £17.99, all you can eat. Amazing. And then you have the Virtuosa Bar and the Virtuosa Boutique. Again, the boutique is more shops, clothes, uh, sunglasses and some cheaper watches compared to the other shop but then this is the bar where they have live music and this is where most of the live music will happen in the evening most of the nightlife will happen here and they will do massive parties on the street and it will be at this side of the ship um, so yeah this is where the nightlife is I've not really gone to many of the parties not really my sort of thing but they, people look like they are having a lot of fun so yeah this is the MSC this is the Virtuosa bar and this is where most of the nightlife happens. Now moving up to deck 7, there's some more, some more speciality restaurants. We have Butcher's Cut, this is the only one I haven't tried, it's a steak restaurant, you'll get a good steak there. Um, I don't really know about pricing, I really haven't looked at it. Um, I have stayed in the Yacht Club, so you, we get the steak that's in here, included with our cruise, so there wasn't any point going there, really. Um, so yeah, you get a really nice view. Tapiyaki and sushi bar, I've tried the tapiyaki and the sushi bar, really good, you have to look at the menu to see if it's worth it for you, it can be quite pricey the tempiyaki, so definitely check it out, it's a really cool experience if you haven't done it already, the chefs are absolutely amazing, and then the sushi bar, 
I did last time like this meal plan where they bought you like different types of sushi on like a platter she tried a lot I would definitely try that if you did go to the sushi so you get a variety that you can try and if you are a gold member you do get a speciality included for two people so definitely if you are that level definitely go and take advantage of that then we have the pub the master of the sea this is where you see the sports on board they also have live music on on the ship compared to my msc sea view one i'm really surprised at how this ship is designed where you only get the bars behind uh, the, the screens behind the bar because it's such a hard way to watch football especially when it's really busy in there or formula one again more seasoning outside so you get the view of the promenade or the galleria and then you have the tv studio and bar this is where the karaoke will happen and they also have private functions in here really big area um haven't actually gone in there or anything myself so i don't I, like i said i know the karaoke is in there and then this is the first main restaurant on board this would be the one for a raw guest they do, do get their own restaurant and you get really nice ocean views uh, if you're by the window but it's just a bit more smaller restaurant so there's not as many of all guests on board then we have the msc raw spa this is included for raw guests and the yacht club they get uh, access to the um, thermal th thermal suite one hour a day so definitely take advantage of that if you're in those areas and then they have the hair salon barber shop nail salon you name it and they can probably do so many so many so many treatments uh you're gonna have to yeah you're gonna have to check the prices and see what they do to suit you you can also look at them on your pre-cruise planner now on deck seven they have a big outdoor deck if you need some fresh air and you want to see the lower down more quieter area i would come here then we have the atrium this is where they have live music in the evening and it's a really nice three-story level with six Soswoski staircases, I can't pronounce that, um, that look really amazing and definitely a very picturesque Instagrammable picture that you may want. They have lots of seating down there. To be fair, I'm saying lots of seating is kind of um, around this sort of area. I think they could do with more seating, in my opinion, actually. Um, yeah, I just this area can get full really quickly, so I think it could do with a bit more seating, especially on maybe like the middle deck because it can get full very quickly. Uh, so maybe that, that could be the only thing they could really improve around this area. Here is guest services if you have anything to complain about. Then you have the Starship Club, this is the robot mob on board that makes you drink. You have to pay for the drinks. They did lower the prices. It was quite extreme when the ship first came out. Um, but you make it here and you have like different blends you can have. And he will make the drink for you. It's a really cool experience. Definitely do it once on your cruise. But then I think that is about it. Unless you just want to get a drink and sit in the bar. Because it is quite a nice bar. Yeah, I would, I would definitely use Rob at least once. Just to say you've had your drink made by a robot. They have the MSC shop. My favourite shop on board. You get your MSC logos, the cruise ship models, the t-shirts, whatever. Then you have a Soswoski jewellery shop. Photo area if you want to get your um, photos, if you have any professional taken. Uh, this is where you go to collect them or have a look at them. Then we have the champagne bar. Like I said, it does get filled up quite quickly, uh, so if you want to sit here or you want this to be your evening, then you will have to get there. Not early, but just keep an eye on the area to see how busy it gets, because sometimes it can be really busy, sometimes it can be really quiet. Here is the casino on board. Don't use it as much as it is a smoking casino, and it's just um, other cruise lines aren't, so... When I go in here, I don't go in here as much. But they do have sports around the, the bar again, so if you want to check out football, this is again, a, or F1, this is a place to go. Lots and lots of slot machines, lots of tables. And 
And to be fair, it is more re I think it's more reasonably priced than other casinos I have seen on cruise ships. Then we have the Carousel Lounge. This is a huge circle stage where they do a few shows. Um, sometimes they have like other acts in here compared to what they have in the other theatre. But they used to have a show where you paid money for. I don't know if they still do that actually, being honest. I should probably have done my research. But yeah, they had a show where it was like a certain discolade because they had a partnership with them but they went under. So now they had to like come up with their own thing. But I don't know if they still do those. I might put in the description below um, to just double check if they still do them or not. Now moving to the back of the ship, you will see the main restaurants. There's three of them. I'm waiting for the names. So this is the three main dining rooms where you will be assigned a time and a table. This is the first one. They're all very, very similar, basically identical, but you will just make sure you check your cruise card and you're happy with the time, happy with the table. Um, if you're not happy with any of it, go and change it straight away because uh, that's the best thing. This is the Symphony restaurant. Like I said, it literally is basically identical, but these are the three main restaurants. If you're not in Yacht Club or all, this is where you will be eating in the evening. If not, you don't eat here, you can eat in the buffet. They change the menu every single day. Uh, my experience on MSC Grandiosa and MSC Blisma, I thought the food was, and MSC Seaview. The food in the main dining room is really nice. Um, it's Mediterranean food, so sometimes it's not as traditional as maybe other cruise lines. But in my honest opinion, I, I like going on holiday and trying some food I wouldn't have at home. So I really enjoy the type of food MSC do serve in their main dining rooms. Here is the last main dining room. And if, if you have any questions about MSC Virtual Show, so I'll be more than happy to answer them down below. Or MSC in general, if, you, if you're just looking at one of their ships. I have been on a couple of them. Just put in the comments below and I will be happy to help you out with any questions you may have about MSC or MSC Virtuosa. So just put that in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer any of them. Maybe I miscounted the restaurants. This is the last one. Like I said, maybe it's just a different carpet, maybe coloured seats, but like I said, it's mainly identical. But they are very, very big restaurants. So maybe if you need like an accessible table, as long as they should put that into account, sometimes cruise lines don't. So you need to go and double check to make sure that your table is suitable for you. And I'll do that straight away as soon as you get on board. So this is my tour of MSC Virtual. So like I said, it was just an updated one to give you guys more information. I hope I have done that. And I hope you've enjoyed the tour of MSC Virtuoso. If you like what you see, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel. It's very much appreciated and it really does help me out. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, any questions, put in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them. But thank you so much for watching. It's been Shitface here and I'll see you guys in the next video.